Yo, too. What's up? It's your boy Better Beast, and we're back with another banger. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I need to holler at my editor. I, me and him gonna have to talk. Me and you gotta talk, buddy, cause I'm I'm kind of a big deal, and and I need some more fireworks when I start off my. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk, but it's your boy Better Beast, and today we're gonna talk about five tips, five tricks on how to become a professional, how to become a pro at NBA 2K. This is part of NBA 2K League Locked In, powered by AT&T Series. Let's hop straight into it. Now, rule number one, you cannot get away from this, no shape, no fashion, no whatever. You cannot run from this. Rule number one, this is an absolute, this is a must. It is an absolute must. You have to be ridiculous. You have to be super skilled. You have to be a monster. You have to be an animal. Whatever adjective I can't think of right now. You have to be a dog at NBA 2K. You have to be one of the best players in the world. In the world. I don't know how many people buy 2K. It's in the millions. The dozens of millions. And it's only... I can't think of the number, but... 25 teams, five people. That's how many people in the 2K League, right? So that's how many people. It's, it's a small group of people. That, you know what I'm saying? It's a small group of people. So you gotta be better than them. And pros on average, we at least 10, 14 hours a day on the game. We ain't putting no less than that on the game. We working. We wanna be the best. We trying to be known as the best. So you have to put that much time in to be just as good, if not better. You can't run from the grind, baby. Ain't no running from the grind. You have to be an absolute dog at 2K to make it. Now, a lot of people are always telling me, Bert, a lot of people ain't good. I'm better than this person, that person. He go to Slash. So you gotta be a monster at the game. That second part to it is, you gotta network, baby. You gotta network. If I got a cousin, that ain't missed a shot in six years in basketball. He could do all the dribble moves Kyrie Irving do. He could do every animation that Luka do, but he only play in the backyard. How he expect to make it to the NBA? How he expect to make it to college? I'm the only person that's seen him play. He ain't missed a shot in six years in my backyard. He raw, he a dog, he cold, can't nobody beat him. He done beat the whole neighborhood 72,000 times in a row. Ain't nobody seen him play though. There ain't no colleges seen him play. He don't go outside the neighborhood and tell people he play ball. People don't even know he play ball. So if don't nobody know what you're doing, if you ain't talking to the people who in the league, the people who are around the league, who associated with the league, how they know what you're doing? So you got a network. We could talk about that on the side. Let me know in the comments on whatever side. What out of these tips, whatever you're struggling with, let me know and we'll, we'll go over it. We'll talk about it. If you need help with, I need more time to grind. I need. Whoop -de -whoop, whatever, whatever, whatever it is you need help with, networking, etc. Write it in the comments, and we can start to, you know, build those connections. We'll help you out. So just write that in the comments. Let us know. Number two. Let's say you are ridiculous at 2K. Let's say you nice. You a dog, right? You already got the skills there. So now you got to start moving into a position. So it's starting to move into that real life feel because y'all see the archetypes, the inside out playmaker, the diamond center. This is different archetypes, is different builds, different roles, different positions. So start to move into that point guard, shooting guard, small four, power four, center role, right? Now you got your hybrids that could play a little bit in between, but for the most part, start to move into a position and mold your game around that. Start to make your builds around that, right? So become a whatever it is you don't got to be a role player you could be a star in your role you could be the superstar of the team but start to take on that role of i'm a lockdown i'm a center i'm a back end i get the boards i'm nasty i'm dennis Rodman. i'm draymond green i'm the point guard i'm kyrie i'm steve nash starting to take on a role you have to play a role you ain't gonna be able to get out there like the old days back in you know 2k16 and put the demigod out there that's seven foot and Baby, you could do it all. You, hey, listen, only thing I need you to do is get out the way. Them days over with. The way the archetypes are, you gotta start to hone in on a certain skill set. So put in your mind that, all right, 
I'm more of a defending two guard. I'm more of a slashing three. I'm more of a defending four. So start to, and, and, and the more you start to figure out that role, start to find team. You gotta, you gotta get that team around. You gotta start to find them teammates. That's why I was talking about that networking, but get those teammates around you that's gonna fit your play style. You know, and if, and if everything gel, everybody got the same play style, y'all should be winning games. Number three, make meta bills. Let's say you raw at the game, you a dog, you killing everybody. Can't nobody stop you, you a dog. And then let's say, man, you play the two. Can't no two guards see, you cooking everybody. Cool, you raw, you, you got you a position. Now you need to start making bills to compete with the rest of the world. Because a lot of the times what's happening is, right? Bro ain't really better than you. What's happening is he got an advantage because his build is tweaked out to the thresholds of the badge. So let's say 94 drive and dunk and 82 vert get you the animations that you need to unlock all the dunk packages, all the contact dunks. But you got a 91 dunk and 81 vert. We need to get you up to the meta bills so you could be on the same playing field because your talent might be here, but your bill might be here. So now you close the gap with your skill, but they got a better bill, the bill better. So you got to start to figure out what's the meta bills. And of course, you don't want to play like everybody else. You don't want to be like everybody else, but meet those thresholds. And the key to it is tweak it to your style of play. Tweak it to your game. So for me, I like to pass more than other guards. So I always like to get a little extra needle threader in there. That's my preference. That's my style of play. Don't just go look at a build and carbon copy it and make it a clone. Like, nah, you got to play with that. Your skill set, my skill set different. So make sure you meet your skill set and your, the, the certain requirements that you need. Make sure you, you hit those on the build that you make. You do not want to disadvantage with the bill do not have a disadvantage with the bill because your skill you might be up here you might be better so make sure the bill relate to your skill number four this is a big one it might seem obvious it's cliche man listen baby listen please 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 i'm begging come out there with the right animations the right jump shots please I get people want to be different. I get it. I'm I'm one of the guys that they say play weird. It's me. That's me. They he play weird every year. But if if the hottest jump shots is is Curry and, and Patty Mills, I I love John Wall. Don't come out there with no John Wall on my floor point guard. Don't do that because as pros and when you playing at the the highest level, those milliseconds matter. So that Patty Mills gonna have that right. It's gonna have the right release height and it's gonna have a, like the, the, the right speed. So if you playing with John Wall or you playing with a Steve Nash jumper and it's slow to get off, the best lockdowns in the world closing those gaps. So you gotta make sure you got on the, the right jump shots. You, you gotta have the right stuff on. I, I got a friend right now, true story. He, <laughs> he be playing with me on stream, right? We be hooping, we be in a wreck. My man, chicken. He chicken, my man chicken, he don't miss. But he got the dirt on. And as soon as my league buddies see him with the dirt, they just, it don't matter if bro go 15 for 15. And that's because they know when a comp set and the shot won't get off. So he be arguing with me like, man, listen, bro, I can get my shot off. I ain't missed in five games. Take me to the comp. I hit him with the same pass. That It's going from like high school basketball to college basketball to pro basketball. The speed is faster. The game is faster itself. People move. They recognize things faster at a higher level. So that slow shot ain't going to benefit you. And then the animations. You got to have on the right dribble moves. You got to have on the right seeds. You got to. I know it's sometimes it, it might look a little cliche. You might not want what everybody else got on, but you can't be at a disadvantage. We're trying to become a pro. So if I got on a move that get me down the court in three seconds, and you got a move to get you down the court in five seconds, I did nothing to be better than you but put on the right move. So we gotta have on the right jump shots and the right animations. Number five, this is an absolute must. You have to do this, and you're gonna take your lumps. Everybody that's been a pro know exactly what I'm talking about. 
Start competing against the best. Go compete against the best. Now, make sure y'all comment and on any type of questions y'all have, we're going to get to you. Anything that needs to be answered, we are getting to you. We're going to respond to you. I don't care what the question is, type it below. And make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Go show love to at and and show love to the 2K League. But any questions y'all have, man, make sure y'all comment so we can get to them. We want to answer your questions. But make sure you go compete against the best. You got to compete against the best. You absolutely have to compete against the best. Yes, you're going to lose. Yes, you're going to win. But you have to go get that work in. You got to. You got to go play. It's iron sharp and iron. That's it, that's just the game. When I first started playing, I was getting boop, boop, diddy bop all upside my head. And it's, okay, we lost by 50. Lost by 30. We need to change this. Then we start and we losing by 10. Now we can win a game or two. Now it's, you know, we back and forth. But don't be scared to go out there in that water and compete because it's just gonna make you better. Listen, you're gonna lose, that's part of the game. You're gonna lose, I'm telling you now. But that's fine. Get your team, stick together, work it out, and keep competing. Now, it's a lot of leagues in the minor leagues of the NBA 2K League that you can go compete in and showcase your talent in. Comment below, man. Make sure y'all comment below and we're gonna get you right. I really wanna appreciate AT&T for showing love, man, because I feel like I got the best job in the world. I feel like playing 2K as a professional, and getting paid for it, I think I got the dopest job in the world. And for at and to come partner with the 2K League, man, salute. You know what I'm saying? I, as, as, I appreciate it. I really do. And for them showing love, man, I'm asking y'all to show love too, man.